Hey, this is not a spring chick, and the biggest news today is the market, as in the stock market, collapses today on a tweet by, yes, remember Twitter, a tweet by the Associated Press. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. You know that. So, what about this AP tweet? Okay, uh, supposedly AP says that they were hacked when they put out a new, when a news item was put out on Twitter that there were two minor explosions at the White House. Not major, two minor explosions. The market totally collapsed. And here's the big thing, not the fact that AP says it was hacked or there were two minor explosions. You know, uh, Herbie Daddy says that you have to pay attention. The market dove by over 300 points. And then all of a sudden, after the White House said there was no uh, the market, trading was totally stopped with the market 147 points down. And then all of a sudden, the market was exactly like it was before the tweet went out. Dollar for dollar, point for point was exactly like it was, which means it looks like the White House has the ability to simply order changes in the market, on the stock market now. <laughs> uh, that's, something that's, that's something real scary, which means uh, if you invest in the stock market, you're a real fool now because if the White House can basically uh, make the market go up anytime they want it to go up, they can also make it go down and ruin you anytime they want to. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said the Republicans are now on the run. Well, we may lose seats that, that have been ours for years. Yeah, like they're going to nominate a liberal Democrat to run for a conservative Republican seat that's not in a black area. Mm -hmm. But they're going to run. They're, uh, in, they're, they're running black congressmen uh, in Georgia against white candidates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in a, in a white, heavily white Republican district, and they expect to win the Senate seat from a from a retiring senator. I think that that's never going to happen. And Obama on the attack over the unlicensed guns that the bombers had. Oh God, there he went. He's just. I mean, he can't get off of it. Well, they should never have been allowed to purchase these weapons. They didn't purchase the weapons in gun shows. They didn't pur They're trying to explain that, but Obama basically, he feels it's his time to go after unlicensed weapons. They were criminals. They got the weapons the way criminals almost always get the weapons. They bought them from other criminals. And none of the legislation that they're doing, I, I heard this morning again, Lindsey Graham said, he, he tried to explain something very simply to the man in the White House. Criminals do not do background checks. Criminals do not go to gun shows. Criminals do not go to Walmart and buy ammunition. The criminals don't do those things, Mr. President. But he, 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 the Democrats do not understand it. They think that, well, we're going to stop crime in this country if we ban all weapons. No. The only people who will have weapons are the criminals and the members of Congress. Oh, they forget that. Yeah. And Rubio, I think Jay-Z needs to get informed. Yeah, basically what he did was illegal, him and his wife going what over there. They thought they had the permission of the, uh, Obama, and basically he blasted Obama about the fact that... Uh, they had permission, then Obama's people said, well, we never gave them permission. They did this on their own through the Treasury Department. The Treasury Department said, we don't approve anybody to go anywhere. Something doesn't sound right. I know. They don't approve anybody to go anywhere. Yeah, but it's not like Jay, it's like Jay-Z does not think Okay, the only thing that the people on the right are saying, including Beck, is that... Uh, Why would Jay-Z, like, get in his mind? He has no reason to lie. It, no. And then he goes on the attack and names Obama directly as... The, as uh, and, you know, he gave us permission, then he changed his mind because he was afraid of an impeachment hearing coming up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Somehow, that seems to have more truth to it. I know. I know. And SNL takes on gun control. Oh, sad. I know. Saturday Night Live. Well, naturally, they did the left-wing approach that they, uh, you know, all the, you know, good guys don't need guns because they have the police there to take care of them. Uh... Let's put it this way. Do you think that the two bombers would have ever made it off the street in Boston if Boston hadn't have been a left-wing liberal city that totally bans handguns? Mm -hmm. They'd have never got anywhere because somebody would have popped them. Before. The instant they, the, they, they, they ran away, you know, somebody would have got them. And that's what the Democrats are losing heavily on that issue now. 
And North Korea demands apology from the South for hostile acts. Well, yeah, uh, they basically uh, they've they've had a. Uh, uh, a state of peace. They have never declared the war over, and, uh, <coughs> and, and Obama can't understand it. Oh, he doesn't, what is behind the madness of these people? Don't they understand they can't become good? They don't intend to become good citizens of the world. Communists don't intend to ever become good citizens of the world. They want to take over the world and make the world do what they want to do. Oh, I forget though that Obama is a socialist, so. <laughs> And North Korea threatened that retaliatory acts will begin without notice. Yeah, that's uh, which is Obama doesn't understand that either. Mm -hmm. he, well, I don't understand why they would do something like that because that's what is done in the real world. And North Korean nuclear talks did John Kerry soften conditions? Um, John Kerry, I, I know that John Kerry is trying to give permissions to people that have okay, they have four aces on the table. Well. If you're going to talk to us, you have to throw three of those aces in. <laughs> and they, they figure that at least here, okay, here, here's Hurley Daddy. Hurley Daddy says, you know how Hillary would have done it? Hillary would have went up there and shook her finger, and that finger shaking scares people because she's like their old school mom. And remember, he went to uh, European schools, and he's used to rap knuckles and mean teachers, so. Has the U.S. released the conditions under which it might talk with North Korea? Yeah, the conditions are once again, I love this, is that it's all about we're telling them what they have to do to talk to us when we have no leverage. What Well, they don't have any food. They have nuclear weapons that are worth a, no, well, they can maybe sell a billion worth, a billion there. Ooh, we got a nice, we see a, a nice little hummingbird out there. Oh, look. We're going to have to get our hummingbird cute. feeder reef tanked up now. Oh my gosh, we'll bring it out here for them. Yep. And Smithsonian to close galleries due to budget cuts called B and S. The Smithsonian basically uh, does not have to close anything because they're a public, pay, either the federal government pays for things, but the Smithsonian is a self-operating organization that basically makes a god off. You ever been to Smithsonian? I have. Oh, you want to what they charge you to go to the Smithsonian? And the place is always full of people. It's just uh, like they're pointing out today, well, the, the FAA was originally going to furlough everybody in the whole department because of sequester cuts. At the same time, they're, they're getting $3 billion in new spending, and they're hiring more people to, uh, at a higher wages than the ones that were being furloughed. That's, uh, they, they have no money problem. They, they have an Obama problem. And GOP resists naming negotiators for budget talks. Well, because they're, the the whole trick is, what's the point? The Democrats are going to the Democrats are going to pass their budget when their budget is passed is dead on arrival because the House has passed a budget and uh, and um, and what's his name Reed said that they will not accept the House budget under any circumstances. So therefore, once again, there's a total stalemate. And if Reed won't accept the House budget. There's no reason for anybody, but no, when the, for Democrats to vote on their Democratic budget because the budget will never be um, approved. Reid wants the budget that they passed to be the only budget on the table, which isn't how Congress is ran. EU trade chief seeks backing to investigate China's Huawei ZTE diplomats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, okay. Here the problem is that China's got massive problems. They're basically artificially pumping up their economy by printing, okay, who is the biggest buyer of American printed presses in the world after the United States? Who? China. Oh. I mean, we're, okay, our printing press industry is one industry that is rolling in money because we make presses for the world and China basically is, they're, that, that one guy said that they're printing a hundred bills to our one. Mm. And but see, since they tell everybody it's good in China, it's not money not good anywhere out of China, but in China they say, well, we're giving you a raise. You're now getting a thousand dollars a day, where you were only getting a dollar a day before, and they give you a thousand dollar note. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember the days when you when you got calls late at night that it was generally from a relative that had troubles. Now the days is just from people uh, out of this country spamming you. Mm 